In this video, I am going to pick up an example of the silent about low voltage distribution network. And we'll talk about the basic model and check the network system, whether it is running as a mesh or radial network. From file, click on examples and select low voltage distribution, then click here. You will see two diagrams. The first diagram represents a 400 volt network system. These two networks are actually one network. Means that they are located in the same geographical area. The element kilovolt diagram shows the line diagram of medium voltage network system which can be as a feeder for low voltage network system 0.4 kV diagram. If we zoom a part of this network system, we see that all these low voltage loads are fed from this substation. To know the inside line diagrams of this substation, double click it and you will see the medium voltage part of the network, transformer, and the low voltage parts. In low voltage part, there are a number of outgoing feeders. If you double click on one of the arrows at the bottom of feeders, you will see the 400 overview diagram will automatically be opened and marked as red color. This substation that you see here is actually the same as substation which is in 11 kV diagram. For example, if you want to see the location of this substation in 11 kV diagram, right click, then click and jump to the next page and select element clue diagram then click OK. Now you can see the substation in element clue diagram and this is also fed from 3 clue substation. The bigger circle that you see here represent a substation that change the rate of 33 clue to element clue. As an example, if we double click on one of these substations, we can see that there are transformers with a voltage rate of 33 kilo over 11 kilo. Each of these feeders represent voltage rate of 11 kilo. The same as before. If you double click on one of these outgoing feeders, you will see the location. As you see that this low voltage distribution network is regarded as passive terminal of transmission network with radial structures. And you can clearly see that all these loads are fed from one substation. To check that our network system is radially operated or not, click on diagram coloring icon. Select the alarm option and ensure that the option feeder radially check is selected. Also select option 3 other and make sure that the topology and feeders are selected. Then click OK. Notice that any feeders that are not being operated radially that will be highlighted in bright red 
as you see none of these predefined fillers are shown marked as bright red so we can say that the network is running as radially to see one of the feeder that must run as a mesh network double click on one of these substation to log it is detailed single line diagram if we close the circuit breaker of one of these outgoing feeder you will notice that the outgoing selected feeder turns to bright red if you look at the 400 volt diagrams that feeder is also marked as bright red it means that our feeder is running as a mesh not radial to remove and run our network as radially click here or the other substation at the end of this feeder and open the circuit breaker of the feeder corresponding with the mesh arrangement you will see that the feeder is running radially again if we return back to our 400 volt network diagram you will notice that none of the feeder is marked as bright red so all the feeder is running radially that is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial i will talk about more about the important features and the functions that are very important in power system area please don't forget to subscribe and like the video